हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम प्रोफेसर रिपिता बंसल फ्रॉम बी पी एस वेमेंस यूनिवर्सिटी सोनीपत हरियाणा टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द मॉड्यूल गुरुकुल सिस्टम फॉर ह्यूमन क्वालिटी डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द पेपर इंडियन परस्पेक्टिव ऑन ह्यूमन क्वालिटी डेवलपमेंट बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड the concept of gurukul content pedagogy applications in human quality development sa vidyaya vimuktaye that is education is one that liberates in bharat the pursuit of knowledge is given utmost important in the scriptures and discourses to be able to realize the full potential is not only essential but considered as a most important duty further this individual experience and intellectual pursuit becomes civilizational experience through gurukul education system the rishis and munis indulge in tapasya to gain knowledge reproduce it as is and hence their words are called as upvachan or the words of authority this is one aspect and covers the knowledge generation process the dissemination of this knowledge then occurs through gurukul formal system that is to a shishya by a guru or acharya through certain pedagogy and through informal living oral traditions key highlights of the content of gurukul can be put as how to know is given priority like learning vyakran same knowledge is transferred through alternate means puran contains same knowledge as of ved but in forms of stories analogies and metaphors and spirituality reverence for nature and most importantly devotion is infused in the curriculum in terms of pedagogy following a disciplined dincharya and jeevan charya is the most crucial aspect of learning secondly life skills and survival skills are imparted through emphasis on swavalamban thirdly promotion to higher levels is on merit basis fourthly multi channel learning that is one fourth each through guru self study peers and experience is practiced hence in a nutshell a gurukul is an institution of learning where guru takes complete responsibility of para vidya or apara vidya that is holistic development of spiritual as well as material aspects of the shishya the role of guru is to evoke knowledge hidden in shishya by establishing a deep emotional connect and following the content and pedagogy as briefly described thus the gurukul system is a model for achieving holistic human quality development what is a gurukul it is an institution of learning in which a guru takes complete responsibility of the education of the shishya the role of guru is to invoke the knowledge hidden in the shishya by establishing a deep emotional connect this is achieved through teaching by oral traditions self study and peer learning in the figure it can be observed that a gurukul is hosted in a serene environment in proximity with nature this plays important role in learning the education which gurukul wishes to impart is defined in this shlok from padam puran tat karm yanna bandhay sa vidyaya vimuktaye aya saya param karm vidyanya shilpanam param it says that is action which doesn't lead to binding that is vidya which leads to liberation 
all other actions are mere chores of artlessness all other sciences are plain craftsmanship this shlok from shubhashit explains what education leads to vidya dadati vinayam vinaya dayati patritam patritvat dhanmapnoti dhanat dharmam tata sukham vidya gives humility from humility one attains character from character one acquires wealth from wealth the dharm follow and then comes happiness contents of gurukul can be broadly categorized as anvikshiki trai itihas and puran dimensions of anvikshiki that is darshan shastra purv mimansa sankhya yog न्याय वैशेषिक उत्तर मीमांसा त्राई इट इंक्लूड सिक्स वेदांग एंड फोर वेद मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑफ द सिक्स वेदांग इज व्याकरण विच इज फंडामेंटल फॉर नॉलेज इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ व्याकरण अव्याकरण मधीतम भिन्न द्रोणिया तरंगिणी तरणम भेषम पथस्य सहित त्रैमीदम कृतम वरम न कृतम स्टडिंग टेक्स्ट विदाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ व्याकरण ट्रैवलिंग इन डैमेज बोट कंज्यूमिंग मेडिसिन विदाउट प्रॉपर डाइट द श्लोक सजेस्ट दैट इट इज बेटर नॉट टू स्टडी ट्रैवल एंड टेक मेडिसिन इन अबव केसेस वेदांग constitutes six parts jyotish nirukt chand vyakran kalp and shiksha ved also known as shruti are recited as is and they reveal the meaning to the practitioner over the time rigved yajurved samved and atharva ved are made contest to students in the gurukul विद्यार्थीज इतिहास कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री रामायण महाभारत एंड पुराण एन इम्पॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द कंटेंट डिलीवर्ड एट गुरुकुल इज दैट देर इज नो अवर्जन विद एनी सब्जेक्ट और करिकुलम अनलाइक करंट एजुकेशन सिस्टम विच इज टू एडमेंट टू कंसिडर new avenues of learning unless and altered it passes through the monochromatic lens based definition of education we need to learn from gurukul education system on how to remain open to new ideas and concepts even if found contradictory with the present norm pedagogy of gurukul when the pedagogy is multi channel learning system outcome is holistic learning through multiple sources one fourth knowledge comes through each guru self study peers and over the time when pedagogy is medium of instruction sanskrit and home language language plays an important role in shaping up the world view This concept is widely known as linguistic relativity. It is essential that medium of instruction be mother tongue or home language for proper understanding and innovativeness. When the promotion criteria is individual centric, outcome is individual centric and based on individual's potential to learn. One is not limited by the other's capabilities to learn. With respect to learning level the gurukul system offers assured minimum level of learning depth of knowledge is encouraged over the breadth this ensures that quality of education is not compromised F- food input has to be satvik food to ensure higher energy levels purity of sat and to keep senses and mind alert there is pedagogy of 
inculcating suave lumbang among students. The outcome is that it relates with basic activities of life. This plays important role in imparting life skills and survival skills to a candidate in the Gurukul. There is interaction with nature and society. The Gurukul system always believes in the proximity with nature, respects biodiversity and has high regards for the nature. Praying to nature and extracting limited resources are inherent to Gurukul culture. Yam Niyam For spiritual journey as well as performing duties of human beings that is practicing Ahinsa, Satya, Aste, Brahmacharya, Aparigraha, Shauch, Santosh, Tap, Swadhyay, Ishwar, Pranidhan. What are the applications of the Gurukul type of education or pedagogy for human quality development? Applications are in the area of developing emotional connect, creativity, understanding of reality, doing and learning, interdependence and self-governance. Emotional connect is very important. The induction into Gurukul begins with Upnayan Sanskar after which the relation between Guru and Shishya is compared with relation between a child in the womb of the mother. The relation between Guru and Shishya is highly revered one. Through this customization is possible and individual attention can be paid to each child. The students pay respect to the teacher early morning. The shlokas they recite in reverence of Guru remind them that the position is same as of God. The Guru also reciprocates the emotional value by attaching high importance to the student's feelings and well-being. Therefore, what we can learn from Gurukul is to ensure that there is deep emotional connect between the teacher and the student and the parent and the student. Today, we find world craving for attaining emotional intelligence, but the need is to understand that to be emotionally intelligent, we need to instill importance of emotions in our life. Creativity is another important aspect of Gurukul. The current mass education system is heavily dependent on classroom structure. Even in the best scenario, 30 to 40 students with varying interests and varying abilities to learn are clubbed together and taught in the same manner. Further, they are expected to perform at the same pace and then judged on the same standards. This dangerous process has killed creativity, infused unhealthy competition and has deprived people of innovative ideas. Further, if a child has ability to speed up and perform at par excellence level, he or she has to wait for the whole year to graduate to next class. This process can also be compared to communist philosophy of not letting talented excel just because someone else cannot. At the same time, the student with different types of learning styles, pace and ability to learn finds it hard to compete with others. This student now has to graduate to the next class without being able to understand the existing syllabus completely. The graduation to the next level of two students may be one with 90% and other with 45% which is occurring simultaneously. This may sound normal but is a serious error 
that the current education needs to tackle with immediate effect. This problem has been considered as serious one by Mr. Salman Khan from Khan Academy also and he emphasized in a recent TED talk about the need to teach for mastery. Gurukul addresses this problem through customization of learning process. It provides scope for each and every student to learn at one's own pace. The competition is with one's own self and student should improve on his own ability on day to day basis not through others. This also leads to assured minimum level of learning when student goes out of Gurukul. One may complete the syllabus in three years and the other may take five years. There is no criteria for percentage of the topic learned. It is binary learnt or not learnt. Therefore, as a parent or teacher, the need is to consider every child a unique child and let him or her to excel in one thing at a time. This will ensure that child is not under stress to perform simultaneously in different dimensions, but develops expertise in one or two and creates something new. Understanding of reality is also an important aspect. Poor understanding of reality is one of the major drawbacks of the current education system hindering the human quality development. Even the NCRT framework of 2005 reported that current system leads to isolated and inorganic understanding of the reality. The problem is the content taught in school is heavily based on western models developed in their context and culture and even if developed by Indians in India, it is overshadowed by cognitive dominance. The textbooks and the process of learning are disconnected from the ground reality of the context in which student is living. How can we expect such content to enable Indian students to appreciate the reality. The books contain a large part of description of western ways of dressing, celebrating and lifestyles while child in his family or extended family might be seeing very different scenario. This creates disconnect with reality. This creates a conflict between what he or she is learning in the school and observing in personal life. How does Gurukul system provides a solution for this? The content in Puran and other texts along medium of instruction being mother tongue ensures that cultural connect with the ground realities is maintained. Whatever student reads in the texts and observes around is same and he follows too. This does not create any cognitive dissonance. The role as a parent or teacher is to ensure from beginning that child does not get disconnected from the cultural roots and nature. The relevant example in day to day conversations and learning should build a reality that is within humanly reach of the child. The world is moving towards achieving universalization, but at the same time localization and customization is gaining importance. Hence we need the young generation with broad vision as well as micro vision to understand these intricacies. Doing and learning is also an important aspect of Gurukul Shiksha. One of the serious concerns in education is about bridging practice theory gap. 
Many efforts are being made to address the problems of overtly theoretical academic world. But a few examples to critique the scenario are as follows. Is world today wasting more electricity, papers and resources in discussing about sustainable development? Isn't it ironical that a young child who is being taught concerns of climate change came to school in an air-conditioned bus, piercing heavy early morning traffic and now sitting in a heavily furnished air-conditioned classroom? To add on the teacher who drives a luxurious car, teaches that we should use bicycles to mitigate carbon footprint. We should save electricity. We should take care of animals and other living beings. We should do this and that, etc. The child then notes down all these points in the copy, reproduces judiciously in the examination answer sheets and gets a printed report card. It seems a great contribution to environment and duty towards saving trees. While in Gurukul, the student remain in the natural environment, education delivery is not dependent heavily on infrastructure. They first offer food to Gaumata and Swablamban is the crucial part of their life. In short, morals and ethics or reverence for nature are not to be taught only but they have to be practiced. Therefore, as a parent or a teacher, it is very important duty to make sure that the words and actions match. As children are very good observers, therefore, in teaching and parenting, there should be a right mix of leading by examples and instructions. The curiosity level of young generation are high these days. The current paradigms of science and education system has uprooted the faith of children in elders. In this backdrop, authenticity and leading by example becomes more pertinent as parents and teachers have to practice what they teach. Interdependence and self-governance is also an important lesson from Gurukul. Today, one of the concerns that many people and agencies highlight about the education is unemployable educated person. The skill which job market requires is not integrated with the education. Neither the job skills nor the life skills and survival skills are part of the education. In Gurukul, high levels of interdependence on each other ensures that each performs duties on time and makes each one accountable. The duties of cleaning the campus, milking the cows, bringing raw material, cooking food and arrangement of class etc. are allocated weekly on cyclic basis to different groups of students. Everyone has to perform his daily activities and studies on time or else work of the whole institute will suffer. This way the students are trained on basic life and survival skills. The case is not to argue about type of skills but strong need to integrate skills with, within education curriculum. In masses, a narrative is being silently taking over that development and materialistic growth implies doing less of hard work, physical labor and attain maximum pleasures. This needs to be balanced by focusing on Swavalamban. At the same time, hypothetical idea of being independent has infiltrated the minds of young people. We are social beings and cannot exist in isolation. All we can do is to have effective 
an efficient interdependent network. The ultimate purpose of human life is attaining moksha. There is no dichotomy between moral and materialistic development. Above discussed aspects were materialistic in nature but approach was ethical and thereby taking care of morality. The action and dedication to God ultimately leads to Atma Kalyan that is self welfare which is the ultimate purpose of being a human. The need is to do away with the binary reductive categorization materialistic versus moral development. The growth of human potential and empowerment leading to self-reliance should be the parameters for development rather than mere high economic growth through mass centralized production. In Bharatiya literature, dharm, earth, kaam and moksha have been given specific mention and importance. So students, let us now summarize what we have studied in this module. Today, there are discussions and deliberations going on among academicians and practitioners about improving quality of education. Everyone is trying to reinvent the wheel. So, this also calls for looking back into our traditions and past to derive crucial learning. To conclude, it is imperative to look back into the inherent aspects of Gurukul to understand process of achieving higher human potential. The deep emotional connect, natural understanding of reality, higher creativity, doing and learning and integrated education with skills are few basic learnings that can lead to high levels of human quality development. Thank you.